Hey everyone, this is Kadisha Najmi here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a highly requested video for most of you who subscribe to my channel, so thank you for subscribing. I'm going to be creating these beautiful framed canvases and if you're only interested in the DIY frame part, then you can skip halfway through the video. But if you want to see everything, then keep on watching. So first things first, before you even start painting or drawing, you need to decide what type of art you want, what type of color scheme that will go with your decor, wherever you're planning that art to be. I'm more of a modern art person, so I like abstract art, but this is going to be a gift for someone and I have a feeling they might not appreciate abstract art as much as I do. So I'm thinking of more of a cottagey and tiki vibe with neutral colors that would go with any type of color scheme. So I went on Pinterest and I searched for botanicals because that literally goes with the entire decor vibe I just described. I'm not an artist, so I don't really come up with art on my own. So I usually go to Pinterest and uh, so I usually go to Pinterest for inspiration. And I found a link to this website called Valor Design, and they had the most beautiful gallery wall for botanical prints and I was able to zoom into these prints and I screenshotted three of them and those are the three that I'm going to be recreating using watercolors on the canvases. Before I begin, I prep my canvases for watercolors by coating them with watercolor ground in pearlescent white color. This gave the canvas a shiny pearl effect which I learned to like later on. It is pretty much a consistency of acrylic paint, so I used my synthetic paint brushes to apply it. I did two coats per the instructions in the back and let it dry for 24 hours before I started painting. I didn't start drawing directly on the canvas because I know I will be erasing drawing a lot and I didn't want a lot of pencil marks on my canvas so I drew my drawing on a piece of paper first and then transferred it to my canvas using tracing paper. Once I was happy with my drawing, then I tore a page out of my tracing pad and secured it with painter's tape so it does not move while I'm tracing my drawing. And if you have taken art class before, this should bring back old memories of shading with a dark black color or pencil on the back of the joint to help with the transfer. And uh, then I flipped the tracing paper over and traced my joint onto the canvas. I had to use some force while tracing to make sure that the color transfers over. And when it was all done, I cleaned it up and I was ready to paint. So I only use these three watercolors for all three of my paintings. The first one is a dark sage green, the second one is a orangey brown, and the third one is a light yellow color. So I used a combination of these three colors and went dark and light to create different shades. This is another one of my three paintings that I did. And uh, I'm not an expert in watercolor, so this is not a watercolor class. I just wanted to show you guys how I prepped and painted my art by using some of these techniques and tools. Okay, so I love the look of a picture frame mat and since my canvas is not a picture frame and can't hold an actual mat, 
I like to paint mine into existence. So I measured about 2 inches on each side and applied this Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in Antique White. The reason I picked this color is because it gives me a very nice contrast to the rest of the background color which is the pearl white color of the watercolor ground I used earlier in this video. looks absolutely stunning once the tape comes out. And here I show you how I applied the painter's tape to help me get those straight lines. Alright, so the last thing is the frame. I purchased three of these 10 feet floor trims from Lowe's. These are the perfect size for a nice thin frame. Um, most of you guys requested a tutorial on how I framed my canvas on one of my other videos I posted. So here it is. Super easy. Since my canvases are 16 by 20, for each canvas, I did two 16 inch cuts for the 16 inch sides and two 20 and a half inch cuts for the 20 inch side. The half inch difference is because the trims will overlap quarter of an inch on each side because of their thickness, which is quarter of an inch. So I didn't measure for each cut. All I did is I cut one and then used the cut piece to measure my second cut. Guys, this saved me a lot of time and I didn't end up with different sizes. Here I show you how the quarter of an inch overlaps on each side to cover the thickness. So that's how it's going to look. Alright, so I used this beautiful dark walnut wood stain that I had in my paint closet. And it is the perfect stain ever that went beautifully with my art. I stained the front, let it dry, and stained the back and let that dry and coated it with a matte clear spray paint that I didn't show in this video, but it is necessary because the stain by itself really stings, so it kind of helps with that. Okay, so once that was all ready to go, then it was time to attach it. Attach the, uh, the wood trims to the canvases. That's what I meant by attach it. Um, it's best if you use nails to secure it. I don't really recommend glue. I use these 3 8 inch nails, but to be honest, if I can go back, I would use at least 7 8 inch or 1 inch because these are very thin and they kept falling out of my husband's hands. Um, so as you can already tell, this is a two person's job unless you have a nail gun. So grab your friend or partner for assistance. Okay, so we secured the trim pieces with two nails on each side and I did that for all three of my frames. And uh, there you have it. It took some time, but now I have these three beautiful gorgeous paintings that you can create as well at your home. You don't have to do botanicals, you can do abstract, but I feel like framing the canvas and painting a picture frame mat changes the game for sure.
I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and uh, I want to make more videos that y'all want to see. So comment below and let me know what you want to see next. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.